Hey, TikTok. So I'm going to be starting a new series and it's wake up call. And before I start it, I feel like I should probably give you a little background and where I'm coming from and what I'm, what the series is going to be about. So I just want to be transparent and share just a small portion of my testimony um, and how God woke me up eight years ago. Well, um, seven years ago, actually. Um, so in 2017, I was as far away from God as you could get. <laughs> I was running from anything religious or um, biblical. I did not want to hear about preaching at the time. I was going to the club every weekend. I was just doing me. I was very independent, me, myself, and I, or me, myself, and my kids. I didn't really care what anybody else thought of me. Um, I just did what I wanted to do. I was very rebellious. And all of a sudden, at the end of 2017, so about August, I got an overwhelming compulsion to paint. And I could not even draw a stick man. So it made absolutely no sense that I should paint anything. But the feeling would not leave me alone. So I went to Walmart one day, got some little cheap paint and canvases and brushes. In case that feeling hit me again, I would have something to use to see what happened. Well, the feeling hit me again and I grabbed some paint, didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't have a clue how to use mediums or anything like that. I just squirted some colors on the canvas and started playing in the paint like a child. I had no idea what I was doing. I just was kind of going with the flow, okay? And before I knew it, I started seeing images like visionary art. I started seeing images in this paint. I didn't think of what I was going to paint. I just did it. And I started building on what I saw. And you can go back in my TikTok and you can see some of the paintings I've done and some of the stories that come along with it. Um, give a short background here. So I got multiple paintings in this way from the month of August of 2017 through March of 2018. In March of 18, I woke up in the middle of the night. I heard a loud, resonant, deep voice that said, wake up, pay attention, watch the sky. It scared me. I jumped out of my bed, felt like I was losing it or something because I'm like, you know, am I tripping? <laughs> like, what's going on? And I even went outside like Chicken Little and looked at the sky to see if there was something I was supposed to see at that moment. Nothing was going on. Not even a falling star or anything. And... I tried to go back to sleep. I could not go back to sleep. And something kept drawing my eye over to those paintings. The paintings were all just stacked in my closet. I didn't know what to do with them. So I typed in a Google search, Skywatch, watch the sky, because that just was playing over and over and over in my mind. And when I did, there was this video that popped up that someone had just posted at that moment that I had woken up. And so I'm like, okay, well, maybe this is a sign or something. So I clicked on the video. It was some 30-minute compilation of weather, sky phenomenon, and earth changes that were happening in the world over the last week at that time. And in, and I've always been fascinated with the weather and geology. I'm, very enthusi I'm an enthusiast when it comes to geology and weather and things like that. So I was like, oh, cool. So I'm watching the video and then there was a slide in the video that was um, a circle with the lines all around it because I actually painted something similar. And that's what triggered me to think, okay, I think these paintings might mean something because I painted that, but I didn't really know what it was at the time, but it was very similar to this earth symbol for earthquake. Well, at the time, like I said, I was running from God. I didn't want it to be anything Jesus or Bible or religious or whatever. So I sent the pictures of the paintings to a new age friend I had. And I said, hey, I think these might mean something. Um, maybe send them to your psychic friends and see if they think they mean something. And he wrote me back right away. And he said, have you ever read the book of Revelation before? And immediately I was like annoyed because I didn't want to hear it. And I said, no, isn't that the scary book? And he said, 
well, yeah, but that's what your paintings make me think of. And I was like, really? I've never read it. So that made no sense to me. And he said, um, yeah, that's, I would read it. Go read it and, and then tell me what you think. So reluctantly, I went and downloaded the Bible app. I don't love to read, so it's not my thing. I'm a math and science girl. I just don't enjoy reading. So, I got the app, and I, st I started from chapter one in like a plain English version, and I hit play, and I just listened throughout cleaning my house and doing things, whatever. Well, it didn't all make a lot of sense to me. I didn't understand what he was talking about in the first several chapters. I'm like, this is crazy. This sounds like some fairy tale craziness going on. What is going on here? I don't get it. And then all of a sudden, never forget, I was in my bedroom by myself and I got to chapter 12 and it starts reading something like this. There will be a great sign that will appear in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon at her feet, and a crown of twelve stars. She'll be pregnant, travail to give birth to a male son who will rule all nations with a rod of iron. And it goes on to talk about this dragon that will be at her feet, and he will try to devour the child. And it talks about the woman being given wings like eagles, and being carried off to be protected. And then it talks about this wave of water that will spew out of the dragon's mouth to destroy the seed and, and that the earth will open up and swallow up the water to protect the woman. And I'm just kind of paraphrasing here. So I'm not saying exactly word for word, but this is what I'm listening to and I'm reading. And what you don't understand is that I painted that woman. I painted that dragon. I painted these things and I didn't know that I was painting Bible prophecy. So what happened in that moment that I was reading Revelation chapter 12 is that I felt this strange like heat it come all over my body. I felt weak in the knees. And what I now know was the fear of God poured over me from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. The fear and trembling, I was trembling from the inside out. I fell on my knees. I started crying out to God and asking for forgiveness, repenting for anything I had done, confessing everything I had done wrong, which was a lot. And I didn't feel shame. I didn't feel condemnation. And all of a sudden, I felt this peace, this peace that just poured over me. It was like a warm hug from your mom the most wonderful thing I'd ever felt. And I was, I didn't know what was going on. I'd never experienced anything like this. 